Thank you very much. Yes, this has only been out two weeks, so I'm really pleased. <laughs> and it's in fact, um, it, it came from a Women Writing the Wild course that I went on in Scotland last year. And of course, we imagined ourselves in the mountains, in the wild, and found ourselves surrounded by fenced off moor, forestry, and mountains on the horizon in the distance. But Inevitably, when we go on our journey to reclaim the wild self, we will meet frustration, grief, disappointment at our treatment of the planet. It's all par for the course. But if you wait and listen, the wild reveals itself. So this is a very brief foray. <clears throat> And the first one I'm going to read is called In Place. When you give yourself to a place, it lodges in your bones. Its mossy woods remember secrets you poured into its waters, your struggles through mud. It gave you visions, songs to sing to its racing stream, oak to stand solid against your void, hazel tips to brush skin, wren's beady eye to watch over you, its hearty clack for courage. One night, years after, you lie awake and remember. You long to return to that bend in the stream where aconite and orchids grow where imagination, swift as the current, is caught by stoop of alder rooted in black loam. Your heart skips a beat as you walk over the rise down the slope where your grief emptied itself. The stream, now swollen, with this winter's drenching, its banks a mud bath. But this time, you stagger through, laughing. A couple of short ones on the climate change issue. There was a beautiful mountain that I fell in love with there. And this one's called Dreaming. Mountain sleeps with her back to us. Tender dip of neck and shoulder. Dark head full of dreams. We are waiting it out, she whispers till all of you go. Yeah. Hedgewitch. She knows her death, the edge where she stands, the hedge where she plucks thorn-caught wool, teasel to comb tangles. She sips scarlet life from bog moss, peaty burns, Whirtleberry bushes. She shuns the snare of lists and other domestications, but knows each and every kin. The curlews curl, snipe sounds, hobbies death dive, rabbit dreams, the wanderlust of stones. A mind full of scudding clouds, her heart a sheiling, wide enough for clan gatherings. And I seem to get into a little bird humor. So this one is called As the Crow. I catchy with me corby eye, speedy though you look me, I spy thee. Wings spread me, coiled quiver, uplift me, push down on branch, so it spring me up air, spin me, swim me, I flap, soar, craa, craa, a fear and out, lone and tribe, we stab, peck, dead, live, any bits, Alice fly straight, the crow way, Alice sit, 
atop a tree. See far! <laughs> Thank you. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is another funny one. Um, I, I heard snipe drumming for the first time in Scotland. I don't know whether anybody's ever heard it, but they vibrate their tail feathers and it's really eerie. Try it on YouTube, it's amazing. <laughs> and um, so I fell in love with Snipe, but then some strange things started to happen as I came home. Thought you'd slip into the pages of my passport, etched in pastel shades. Quel surprise! Thought I wouldn't find the three of you concealed in my magazine Spot the Snipe picture. Thought I wouldn't notice you, stare at me from the wee watercolour on my dentist wall. Just because I heard your drumming to the wee sack moon that indigo night, doesn't mean you can follow wherever I go. It's called Sniped. One more. <clears throat> this one's called Parting. I stand on hind legs in a green sea, ears pricked and twitching, bronzed as a lazy burn, sleep made, sad to leave. I try to pack full moonrise with my jumpers, press yellow dazzle of marsh marigold into my socks. Having glimpsed each other's rocky coasts, secret woods, we will slip back into city skin, shared thick pelted moor for familiar postcodes. We must learn to whale call each other across oceans, tap spider codes on threads, web threads, harass like wind, rattle the niceties, call soft through the night and drum our tail feathers, beckoning. Thank you.